I'm Dr. Samir Hinduja, and I'm here to talk to you about how to protect your identity. When you hear the term protect your identity, it basically means safeguarding your information. We often think about password security, but I often think about personal information in the form of full names, where you go to school, addresses, anything that could be used against you by someone with illicit or malicious motives. College students are actually one of the largest populations of those who are victimized by identity theft and identity fraud. A lot of college students use their ATM or their debit card for various transactions. However, I strongly encourage that college students instead use their credit card for transactions. According to the law, when it comes to misuse of your credit card, you're only responsible for up to $50 of any malicious or unauthorized use. Identity thieves know about this loophole when it comes to the difference between credit cards and ATM cards, and so they will specifically target those who use ATM and debit cards. I know it seems like a chore, but it's so important for you to stay on top of any and all transactions that are reflected from your account. When it comes to safeguarding our information, we should do a number of things. When it comes to digital data, we want to make sure that we safeguard our passwords using password managers. We also want to make sure that we purchase a shredder. The research involving identity theft across the world is pointing out that so many are susceptible, from young all the way up to older ages. And we just want to make sure that we don't think that it's never going to happen to us, but we take a number of precautions. For example, not using public Wi-Fi to log into a bank, be careful about what we post and share, and also make sure we contact those sites such as Zaba Search or Spokio, where there's information about us that needs to be taken down. When it comes to my research at FAU involving identity theft, I'm looking into a phenomenon called footprinting, which is all about how we can identify bit by bit specific transactions that are made online by looking at who might have sent it, using what cellular service provider or internet service provider, on what specific platform, social media or otherwise, and then specifically the steps that were taken in order to commit certain crimes. Over time, that should help us more quickly identify who is behind various sorts of crimes and forms of deviance. 